It's not easy being a lesbian and enjoying video games. Not as hard as being a gay male, perhaps, but still. There's an endless stream of hot female characters to distract me while I play, and the vast majority of them are sadly straight. So we have the top five characters that I wish were lesbians. I'm not counting characters who are known to be bi, and just one character per series to make things, you know, a little bit more interesting. I'm ignoring any possible subtext people more desperate than myself may also cling to. So here we go. Let's see what's on my list, shall we, everyone? Number five. Coming in at number five is Lara Croft. I've always had a bit of a thing for Lara, even when her boobs were all pixely triangles. I found her pretty empowering from a female perspective. She kicks ass, raids tombs, and her looks have only improved with time. Something like the covered in mud, water, a sordid crap look that she's developed in the more recent games also kind of does it for me, so that's even better. Awesome. Number four. Coming in at number four, from a pretty shallow entry in Lara Croft to an entry that is the opposite. Viconia Devere is from the Baldur's Gate series of games, and she's hands down one of my favorite female characters ever. And she's literally a small bunch of pixels in a CRPG, and these character portraits as well. Viconia is a drow, a dark elf, and she probably has one of the sexiest voices in video games ever, in my opinion. Night Singer, give me power. Ulza, Jalcales, Night Singer, give me power. And she's also evil as shit, which is, again, another massive plus. I'm sure you'll all agree. Anyway, in the second game, in particular at Baldur's Gate, as a male character you could romance her, but as a female one, my hopes and dreams were crushed. As it's just not possible. That's why Viconia comes at number four on my list, and she really is awesome. Number three. Coming in at number three, we have Jill Valentine. Yeah, um... Especially, especially in Revelations, yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? What was I saying? Number two. Coming in at number two, we have Cassandra Pentagast from the Dragon Age series. I like a girl who can kick ass and Weird religious shit aside, which I'm not overly fond of, I also like slightly European accents, if you hadn't guessed from my Viconia entry. Cassandra ticks both these boxes, but sadly, my female Inquisitor can't fuck her at all. In fact, if you try and pursue her as a romance option as a female character, she rejects you because she only likes guys. Leaving me to gaze longingly as she fights in the distance on the horizon, and then awkwardly look away when she turns around wondering what the fuck I'm doing. Number one, girl with a big sword is fortunately not compensating for anything, and Payne has a fucking big ass sword. Basically, if I was responsible for writing Final Fantasy X-2, it would probably be just one massive lesbian orgy, and Titus would have fucked off at the end of the first Final Fantasy X game. In fact, he probably wouldn't have even been in the first Final Fantasy X game. Annoying laugh and all, he can fuck right off. Payne is definitely my favourite of the Gullwings, and probably the character that Young sexually frustrated me wanted to bang the most in video games for a long, long time. Just on the basis of those fond memories, pain tops the list. More transformation sequences for this square. Please. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my top five characters that I wish were lesbians. There's a lot more of this type of content to come on the channel, so if you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider sharing the video with as many people as possible. If you enjoy my content, you can also support me over at GameRisp, which is like Patreon, by hitting the link in the description, the support me link. And I'll see you guys really soon for another one of these countdowns. Bye for now, have a great day.